So the only tools that you're going to need to fix your microwave uh, for this one is your T20. You're going to need your T20 with an extension. This is a six inch extension to a quarter inch drive. And this is going to go into this ratchet. And the last thing is going to be a Phillips screwdriver. This happens to be on a quarter inch drive DeWalt. And so with this tools, you'll be able to take everything off. I'm going to just pull it off the wall one last time, uh, bring it down and We'll go ahead and finish that off. All right, so on this portion, I'm gonna move fairly fast, but it's gonna be uh, all the screws here along this bracket here, here, this one all the way going across. All those are gonna get pulled out uh, to include the ones on the top. Uh, now the ones on the top, they are uh, tapered, which has them flush against this. It has a little groove in there that's dug up in there. And that's because the piece of wood does right on the top. So you won't be able to confuse these at all. You have this one, this one, this one, everything on the top here, all these screws are gonna come off to include in the bottom portion here, there's gonna be an additional uh, three screws, no, actually one, two, three, and four, that are gonna come off just because this bottom plate here uh, matches up with this. And it goes in this gray plate. This is the outer portion. This you have to pull out, push up at the same time, and you'll be able to take this whole cover off. Next thing we have is definitely these two are going to come off and then we're going to slap on the new one here. Uh, your Megatron goes in here. Uh, this cable is the actual power supply. Uh, when you are removing this, you have to wiggle this back and forth and the lip sits on these bolts here. They go one, two, three, and four. Same thing for the other side. You just pull the cover this way, tuck your hand in here and then make sure you stick your other hand with your right or left hand and then just pull on the other side of the cover to pull out and then this comes straight out. I was able to put it right over there on my table. Stars right there, which is the only ones that you're gonna need to take off. Uh, on this specific, this model, it has a plastic shroud here. Uh, we're gonna take this Phillips up here. And since you see that there's a piece of plastic there, there's this Phillips here. And since that's like that, allows me to believe that this fill up, this fill up, this fill up. I'm pretty sure these four here have something to do with that plastic cover. And I'll be able to wiggle back and forth until I get it out. You have this ground here. This is just a tad bit in the way. Just enough to cause an interference. Once this ground came off, this thing was solid. So yeah, you connect your T20, put it in there, and a six inch extension was good enough, but I just brought another one just in case. So that's gonna sit right here, just like that. So I went ahead and labeled these earlier. Red is gonna be your FA and black. And this white and red stripe one is gonna be the F.
bars here for the magnetron. I want to get these two on, but I don't want to cinch them down. I want this to be a little bit loose because you still have the other two on the other side. You're playing in the tablet? Once you cinch this in there, it's in there nice and tight, and you have your wires connected right. <clears throat> Since I labeled it earlier, I just had to put them to wherever they belong to. So FA and F, but just make sure it matches this. So this stays on the back of the magnetron and just takes two screws right there, and it goes on there. Uh, I didn't take anything when I went on there to take the older one. All I did was unscrew it, pull these wires out. So you're gonna put back on it's gonna be this Phillips here it's pretty good <clears throat> swing it over to the back the plastic shroud is right there we'll be able to see it if it's not aligned you can move it a tad bit to the right left and center it on to your bolt Put the first one, don't cinch it in all the way. Grab your other one. Put it in. And this one's not feed it right. I was able to move it with my thumb on the inside of it. And get it nice and tight. Once it's cinched. <clears throat> Another thing that I have. So it's one of my cheats. Um, for this one, you do have it on the lowest setting. Cause you don't need a lot of torque together. Just gotta put this ground back on. I don't know how much to stress it, but definitely you need your ground to be on. That's on, it's clear. Slide this guy in. microwave they're hung uh, with a bracket and it's got usually has two or three sometimes even more uh, steel clips they come out and they get attached to the bottom of the microwave and this makes it get support from the back side right there laterally going up on the top it usually has screws and these screws are a lot bigger and girthier and they usually have a hard piece of plywood on the top that holds all that together. <laughs> For this one, I had to cinch this side and that side. And usually the outlet is run up to something like this. All I'm gonna do is finish it off and run the last portion of it, which is just a piece of plywood on the back side which covers up that hole that is the top portion of that. <laughs>